Okay, we're speaking to uh, Digicore, Adam Williams. Thanks so much for talking to us. Um, tell me a little bit about your plans for evolving as this industry evolves with your product. Obviously, you're a leader in the space of portable IFV. What's next? So, portables, uh, they've been our flagship and they're going to continue to be our flagship for a long time. Uh, there simply is a market for that. We have customers who they launched with the 5500, they upgraded to the XT, they've now upgraded to the L7, uh, they're happy, their passengers like it, so there's a market for that. Obviously, with everything that's going on with seat-centric or semi-bedded or seat-back systems, uh, or whatever you want to call it, uh, there is an opportunity. To and it starts to make sense for a lot of airlines as they mature and as they grow and as they actually have the capital to be able to invest in more systems, but don't quite yet want to go for that full investment, right. a completely embedded system, um, you're going to see more and more airlines grow into that space. Right. And we want to grow with them. And so we see uh, some of our partners as they mature, and again, as they get more passengers. Natural more routes, extension for them to go from portable to exactly. the seat centric. And I see. We want to be there to support them. So right. right. And now, you already have that relationship in place, and they trust you as someone exactly. who takes care of their systems. Exactly. Right. So we've got you know, years of experience doing that. Yeah. So we want to make sure that we develop an architecture and a system um, that isn't playing catch up. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Uh, it isn't playing catch up, but we'll make sure that we really are going to support and anticipate what they're going to need. Okay, okay, so. very interesting. Um, one of the you know big stories out of the show, obviously, is wireless IFE. And what I thought was so interesting about what Virgin America announced is that they still see a space for that screen in front of a passenger. Yep. You know, so so they're not swapping out one for the other. They're actually doing both. Absolutely. Obviously, with different partners, but they're doing both. As you look at the seat-centric space, do you also consider partnering with companies that are pushing the, the, the wireless IFE side of the equation so that you can offer that type of, when an airline like Virgin America, and there are going to be airlines that are going to follow suit, want, I want seat-centric and I want wireless IFE. Do you env envision those partnerships down the road? I hope so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's natural. Yeah. Uh, like you said, there are the people, the technophiles, they want to get on the plane. Yeah. I've got my iPad, I've got my tab, I've yeah. got my smartphone, and that's all I want. Yeah. I will stream my own stuff. You've got the people who get on the plane and say, I didn't bring any of that. Yeah. The battery's dead. I don't want to get it out. Um, and they want to have the screen in front of them. Okay. Um, we've actually been doing some research lately, and especially with the older generation, it is astounding. Yeah. The, how much they desire something in the seat back. Right. And, and so it's just not going away. So I see at some point that as we continue to, to kind of get into that space, that there would be some natural partnerships uh, that'd be very complimentary. Yeah, oh, it's very interesting, very interesting. Now obviously, uh, the latest generation L7 uh, DigiPlayers are on Alaska Airlines, right? <laughs> and they are Wi-Fi enabled. Yep. What are you finding, uh, Adam, in terms of use of the Wi-Fi by the, by the portables? Are, are, are passengers still want to see that video content they absolutely do so we were concerned yeah obviously yeah it right. gets on the plane and the question is okay what happens to us and as what we've seen is that passengers continue to rent the l7 um, and a certain segment of that uh, yeah. does connect to the Wi-Fi yeah and they do start browsing the internet uh, we've seen that or we've seen that the uptake for the internet is still very small um, and that primarily people are using IFE to watch movies. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting, so people want the internet, they love the internet, but they expect it for free. Okay. Because I can go to McDonald's and get it for free. Yeah. I can go to my hotel and I can get it for free in the lobby. Yeah. And so when they get on a plane, it's like, well, why don't I get it for free as well? So they want it, but the second there's a price tag, they go, I'll watch the movies. Right. Right, right, right. Very interesting. So you, you, you're seeing kind of real time play out on the Alaska. It's a great experiment. It's a great kind of guinea pig, really, for you guys. Been. Yeah, and we appreciate that relationship with them. It, it, it's worked <laughs> out. Yeah, it's worked out. Um, back to the classic portable space. Is there still a market for portables? I mean, where, where does that stand right now? Absolutely. Um, simply because the reasons people want them for portables for years are the same reasons they're going to want them for the next couple of years. Yeah. Uh, it's such a low capital investment. Uh, you're able to get high quality early window content yeah. in front of passengers. Uh, you're able to still differentiate between between cabins. You can uh, rent it out in economy. You can hand it out in first class. Uh, so you can still create those type of experiences that you're looking yeah. for. Uh, so as airlines continue to grow uh, in the low cost and regional uh, segments, they're going to keep wanting it. They're going to keep wanting it. So 
You, but of course, Digicorp has another side of its business uh, that is uh, doing rather well. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? I know it's not your focus, but can you tell me a little bit about the parts side of the equation? What you guys do in the For, PMA? Uh, the, oh, uh, yeah. the PMA. Yeah. 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 So that is an area where, <laughs> unfortunately, those relationships. Uh, well, we were getting the parts of falling apart. Uh, really? A little bit. So we still have some relationships um, where we're sharing the business. So if they have opportunities for us, uh, they pass it on to us. If we have opportunities for them, we pass it over to okay, them. Okay, I um, see. But unfortunately, we don't have the same focus that we've had before. Okay, okay. So, but Digicore is not going anywhere because you're, 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 you're generating new business all the time. Yep, absolutely. We're seeing the new announcements all the time. Of course, Alaska Airlines is... Uh, Long time customer and a continued vote of uh, vote of confidence from Alaska Airlines. So actually, one uh, one press release is sitting in your inbox right now. Oh boy, how many? Have you had a chance to yeah, check? It's outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> um, is moving a little bit more into just providing content. Okay. So Azerbaijan has been an L7 customer since the beginning of this year, um, and so they needed a new content service provider for their AVOD system. Okay. So it, they wanted to be able to mirror the content as well as that add some additional content to right. the AVOD. So it became a natural opportunity for us to extend into that space. So we are actually now providing the content for their Panasonic EX2. You're joking! System. So how are you? Uh, do you, uh, you forge the relationships then mm -hmm. with the studios, yep. and you're you're jumping into content service provision? Yep. So. Oh, wow. So there's those opportunities again. We we have the IFE hardware. Yeah. And we've done the content for our hardware, but we have the capabilities to be able to do content for other devices and systems. How is that? Uh, how are the, uh, the the spot faxes and the Crest Digitals and that reacting to that? Do they think there's lots of fun room to, to, to share? Or I'll what? watch the comments off of this video and okay. find it. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank you very much.